What's up guys, TB Pro is here, and today I'm going to bring you a Tomb Raider review. Uh, this game is pretty awesome. Uh, I got this game through Gamefly. Uh, I was skeptical if I wanted to buy it or not, because uh, they haven't really made a Tomb Raider in a while, so I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to buy this game. But yeah, if you are debating on buying this game, you should probably buy it. This game is pretty awesome, and... It takes a while, you know, to complete. It's kind of like Far Cry, you know, that, that sense of when you complete it and then there's still a bunch of crap you can do after it. So, yeah, this this game has to be, like, probably the best game so far of 2013. Uh, they did a great job with it. Uh, the graphics, as you can see, or that's going to come up pretty soon here, you can see that, uh, yeah, they just went all out on graphics and uh, the terrain and just every little detail um i know that like when you're walking and stuff like you can like trip over bottles and stuff and it like alerts the people so you gotta like watch out where you're moving and you just gotta like you know just look around look at your surroundings before you head into somewhere so as you can see right now i am this is like kind of like the beginning of the game even though i completed it uh this is like like the beginning area um, so all the stuff that you see, like the weapons I have, they, um, kind of like a spoiler, but it's kind of like the ones that you get at the end. Um, actually the weapons I have right now are not fully completed. Uh, if you, if you play this game, you'll know what I'm talking about, but you have to go around and there's like these chests around and when you open the chest, it'll give you like, it'll change your weapon actually. So you can get like different upgrades for your weapon and stuff like that. But yeah, this, as you can see right now, this is the map. Uh, the map is pretty huge. I mean, they got fast travels around the map. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit here. But right now, I'm just trying to go for a relic. Um, yeah, the, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like, uh, if you're wondering what the game's kind of like, it's kind of like Far Cry 3 uh, mixed with like, God of War, I mean, it's got, it's just like a whole bunch of games combined pretty much, but as you see right before I did like this thing right now, um, that's like a thing that tells you like where, where stuff is and, um, like when you're playing the game, it'll tell you like where you have to go and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool thing to, you know, have at your side. Um, as for the story, the story is pretty awesome. Um, I never played a Tomb Raider before, so, you know, I don't really know what the storyline is about, or, like, you know, what, what she's trying to do, but, um, yeah, it does a great job at, you know, showing the beginning of it, and showing how she became, you know, the, you know, the tough and badass girl that she is that you've seen before and before games. So, yeah, they did a great job with that. Um... But for gameplay wise, I I would say this game it, the gameplay is pretty good. I mean, they did a great job with like yeah you know, like crawling on the ground and like there's different like attack moves and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm heading right now to a I believe I'm heading to the campfire where campfires is like where you can do like your upgrading and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'm still still trying to find the relic, but um, yeah, uh, the, the looting's pretty good too, I mean, when you, you can just loot, like, animals and stuff, like, you can kill animals, and then, um, you can just loot them for, like, you get money or something like that, I don't know why, but, um, I wish, or you get XP too, but I wish they would have did it differently where you would have to, like, you know, like, eat or something like that to make it so it's, like, more survival-ish. But yeah, this is the campfire, uh, where you can, you know, you can upgrade your skills, just like Far Cry 3, if you have, if you haven't played that, you can just, like, upgrade your skills and make it so you can do different stuff. There's some fast travel, and your gear, where you can upgrade your weapons and stuff like that, if you have enough money for it. So, they did, it. it's pretty interesting how they did that, so, like, if you want to upgrade something, or if you got a skill point, you have to find a campfire in order to do it. I think that's a great job instead of just, you know, pausing the game and then doing that. But 
On to the next part, um, I'm going to be covering multiplayer. Uh, so far, it took me a while to get into a match, but uh, I think they did a great job on this too. You can pick from different characters throughout the game that, that you played. Um, you Or you can uh, level up in multiplayer to get like the main character just like Lara Croft and other people like that. There's your loadout. And, you know, it's just your basic weapons. Uh, I only got two since I'm just a noob. But um, also about the characters, you can pick to be the evil characters. So, like, the other side, uh, which is pretty cool. So it gives a different variety. Um, so, yeah, you'll be seeing I'm heading to multiplayer match. Um, they got four game modes. There's team deathmatch. There's this. Uh, there's free for all. There's, like, this one where it's kind of like, like, hard point from Call of Duty kind of where you just like secure off a spot um, yeah so <laughs> um, and then they got some other one I didn't really play it but um, so overall I think that the multiplayer is pretty good I don't know if I recorded any multiplayer like a match because it took so long to get into it and then when I got into it I wasn't recording so yeah, the gameplay on that is similar to single player. It's pretty fluent, and yeah, they did a great job with multiplayer. Um, I will be bringing you some probably. Uh, I might be bringing you some multiplayer gameplay. Uh, I don't know yet, but overall, I'll give this game uh, probably a nine out of ten. It did a great job, so uh, I hope to see another another one. I mean, it's pretty good. So um, hope you guys like the review, and I'll catch you guys later.